Shofatim, Judges 21. Now the men of Yashadael had sworn in Mitzpah, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter unto Binyamin to be his woman. And the people came to the house of Elohim, and abode there till evening before Elohim, and lifted up their voices, and wept sore, and said, O Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, why is this come to pass in Yashadael, that there should be today one tribe lacking in Yashadael? And it came to pass on the morrow that the people rose early and built there an altar and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the children of Yashadael said, Who is there among all the tribes of Yashadael that came not up with the assembly unto El Yahuwah? For they had made a great oath concerning him that came not up to El Yahuwah, to Mitzpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the children of Yashadael repented them for Binyamin, their brother, and said, There is one tribe cut off from Yashadael this day. How shall we do for women for them that remain, seeing we have sworn by Yahuwah that we will not give them of our daughters to women? And they said, What one is there of the tribes of Yashadael that came not up to Mitzpah, to El Yahuwah? And behold, there came none to the camp from Yavish Gilad to the assembly. For the people were numbered, and behold, there were none of the inhabitants of Yavish Gilad there. And the assembly sent thither twelve thousand men of the valiantest, and commanded them, saying, Go and smite Eth, the inhabitants of Yavish Gilad, with the edge of the sword, with the women and the children. And this is the thing that ye shall do. Ye shall utterly destroy every male and every woman that has lain by man. And they found among the inhabitants of Yavish Gilad four hundred young virgins that had, n- that had known no man by lying with any male. And they brought them unto the camp to Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. And the whole assembly sent some to speak to the children of Binyamin that were in the Rach, Rach Rimon, and to call peaceably unto them. And Binyamin came again at that time, and they gave them women which they had saved alive of the women of Yavish Gilad, and yet so they sufficed them not. And the people repented them for Binyamin, because that Yahuwah had made a breach in the tribes of Yashara'el. Then the elders of the assembly said, How shall we do for women for them that remain, seeing the women are destroyed out of Binyamin? And they said, There must be an inheritance for them that be escaped of Binyamin, that a tribe be not destroyed out of Yashara'el. Howbeit we may not give them women of our daughters, for the children of Yashada'el have sworn, saying, Cursed be he that gives a woman to Binyamin. Then they said, Behold, there is a feast of Yahuwah in Shiloh, yearly, in a place which is on the north side of Beit El, on the east side of the highway that goes up from Beit El to Shechem, and on the south of Lebona. Therefore they commanded Eth the children of Binyamin, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards, and see, and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in dances. Then come ye out of the vineyards, and catch you every man his woman of the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Binyamin. 
And it shall be when their fathers or their brethren come unto us to complain, that we will say unto them, Be favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserved not to each man his woman in the war. For ye did not give unto them at this time, that ye should be guilty. And the children of Binyamin did so, and took them women according to their number, of them that danced, whom they caught. And they went and returned unto their inheritance, and repaired at the cities, and dwelt in them. And the children of Yashadael departed thence at that time, every man to his tribe and to his family. And they went out from thence every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Yashadael. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes.